Hi everybody, good evening. This is a new room from Tryhack Me. Uh, it is just now, about half an hour ago. Uh, this is room is basically. Uh, it said an employee from an IT department of one of our client got arrested by police. The guy was running six for fishing operation and side gig. So basically, we need to investigate this machine, this Linux machine. They give us this the same as the windows so we can know where the file are to follow the investigation. Uh, then here's, here's the machine or uh, our dis uh, dis disgruntled IT user last, last we worked on. So we have the machine access. Now, the user installed the package on the machine using elevated privilege according to the logs. What is the full command? Now check the SCDU execution history. Now basically we're looking for bash history, so and can we look for that? Uh, if you look for, you see this is the bash. First of all, we can check how many users we have. So we have uh, IT library. Let's start with the first one. Let's get uh, the bash history file for the, the first one. So um, library and then uh, dot bash history ok has a long list so the user installed the package on the machine uh, this is you see uh, the sud so you install apt so the way to answer the question here is of course we, we need to do the, the uh, how much the binary father so the binary is in apt then is install docu wiki I think that's that's one this is just the the, the path for the, the the command the apt what was the pre, uh, what was the present working directory of course we it's the, the that one so it's home this user cyber t now Keep going. Our dis disgruntled IT was supposed to only install a service on this computer. So look for the command that are that are unrelated to do to that. Which user was created after the package from the previous task was installed? So if we follow the answer, look for the add user command. So if we look here, so we have add user command. So he ans he did it dash admin. Then a user was then later given SUD privileges. When you when was the SUD file updated? So now. The hint is that uh, the, the SUD will look for this file when it was open. And then we know from here, if you go to the login information, it's an authentication, it's an SUD file. So we can go to, for example, let's open that file vim var log authent. Oops, 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 this is my, my keyboard. Authent. Oh, what's wrong with you? Var log authentication log and let's search for S U do uh, what V I S U do with next this one it's is user root so it's not that one looking for the one that opened the file User root home, uh, the user binary duo. Let me continue quickly here. User root command should be this one. So it's a uh, let's try this one. It's not try, it should be, it should be it. That's the that's the, the file, as you do as the hint states. Then a script file was opened. Let's close this one. Click 
clear he said uh, a script file was opened using the vi text what is the name of this file so remember now we start he created this user so let's assume that that user now is the one that has the the vim history the if we go now the file you said no bash history vim history you can home the user and the vim info so you can get the vis info he said a script file was open using the vi text what is the name of this file uh, so let's see if no this is not uh, is another file here vim version history let's see if, if someone has opened it cyber this cyber does a script file was open using the vi text editor let's say bash uh, this is the IT admin guy let's get his bash history what this guy did oh you can see so they start from uh, the library, then the IT admin the second and then he opened this one so it's open bomb dot sh then he said the bomb message file is a huge red flag while the, the file is already coming uh, we still need to find out where it came from and what is contained the problem is that the file does not exist anymore what is the command used to create the file bomb sh okay the the common different things i can't look at the bash history found in the user home directory um, user uh, okay let's see the bash history found in the user's home directory no, no this one this is the the, the command uh, we are on it use curl to download it to to get it then and then the file was renamed and moved to a different directory uh, as you know you can see the remove as you do on ls remove and then this command so no no hold on a minute let me cut again let me clear it so we don't have uh, a vim info clear not say now let's cut um, let's start with us uh, that one didn't use uh, it's library didn't use vi so it's the admin it admin that was used vi info he said the re uh, they remember I moved to a different directory what is the full path of this file now uh, that's the file binary OH date so now we have the file when was the file from previous question last modified ok we can use ls minus la ls minus la binary os update now we have it, it's uh, December 28 06 okay and then what is the name of the file that will get that will get created when the file okay this is cron job what's it open the militia file oh okay but let's say cut binary os file oops well let's, let me open it theme binary it look a little bit colors here okay now what you do echo this in that file so the file is goodbye.txt 
of the boy with an E of good boy. Okay, this one we're done with it. Clear. And then he said, so we have a file and a motive. The question we now have is how will this file be executed? Now, at what time will the malicious file trigger? Okay, we go to the cron and they give us a website to detect. So, let's see, vmtc cron tab. Remember the cron tab is here, so they give us information is where is the, the cron tab location. So this file has all the information. Uh, this is our friend file. This is the the things that we need to take to this one. I've been this before, before I don't know. So it's at 8 value 8 in the morning. So 8 in the morning. So it's 0 8 0 uh, sorry 0 0 a.m. Okay, and then we have finished the the room. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, this one I'm a bit happy today. Uh, at least then uh, uh, why is freezing? I got a little bit. Uh, I don't know why it keep pushing me down, but at least I got uh, one nice point. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day and enjoy your weekend.